All right, yesterday we hit a ruler with this machine and it has um, knocked it out of time. So the first thing we're going to do is check the needle bar height. I replaced the broken needle. I made sure I put it in uh, correctly. Now I'm going to bring it all the way down to its lowest position. And to do that, I do that with the flywheel on the right and you need to push that in while you turn it or it isn't engaged. Now, once I have it at the lowest position, I want to be able to see, I'm going to crawl in here between the bars and get my head at eye level with the machine. And I want to be able to see when I'm looking, you know, level, straight at this, about half of the eye the whole of, you know, of the eye. And I don't want to get confused because the groove that's there uh, looks like you're looking at the hole and, and I'm not. So this tool here is called a timing tool. And can you see it in the camera? Mm -hmm. And I put it into the eye of the needle and it's likely yeah, that I can't really do that because this got shoved up. So I'm checking the level and it does seem like the needle bar is too high. Now I had already lowered my needle to the lowest point. So this screw right here is exposed and I need to loosen that. Now when I loosen that, this needle bar will go up and down. Um, it will turn, it will slide freely and now I can Put it at the proper height. So I want to put it a little bit too low and then I will use this timing tool and I will slide it into the eye of the needle. And now I will pull up on the needle bar until it, it, it's snug on that, uh, maybe that needle, that point from the, the needle bar timing tool. It's snug on that and so now I know it's in the right position. I'm going to slide that out and tighten it back down. So up here. I'll tighten it as tight as I can get it. This is one of those times where you want to make sure you have a good screwdriver. If you have a screwdriver that doesn't sit in the slot nicely, then you're not going to get a nice tight um, crank on that screw. You want it to be nice and tight. So now my needle bar is set at the correct height. And if I take a stitch, that's great. And if it still isn't working properly, then I'll move on to timing.